We looked at two MicroMaster stations a while back and it's time to investigate the other two in Ironworks and Airwave. Before we get started, a note from our previous review of Hothouse, I never knew that you could extend the barrel of the cannon like this. So for once, the comment section was, was actually useful. Huh. Now eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed I split these toys up so I had one good one and one less impressive one per episode. Now try to figure out which is which. First up is this piece of crap Decepticon Airwave. Now, actually, that's not that nice. It's fine. It's fun. It's kinda. It's fun adjacent. The MicroMaster themselves is quite nice. It's a fun maroon jet, you know, who transforms quickly into this handsome lad with a grape purple face. I like it. For the station itself, you've got this little airport, and while it's perhaps a little less detailed, the stickers do a good job of telling a story. You've got this little detachable ramp, like always, and Airwave is unique amongst the MicroMaster stations in that this mode can transform to a small degree. The runways can split to create a longer stretch for Airwave to take off from. This means you can also attach four ramps to the station, which is a unique feature. And God knows it needs all the help it can get with this battle station mode. You fold the runway up, and, and this is kind of like what you're getting, essentially a dumpster to hide airwave in. The missiles are nice and all, but they don't do anything. It's really the least of the entire set, and it isn't much fun at all. Autobot Ironworks is a different story altogether. Ah, Screamer! of a toy folks, a very cute little construction site, complete with detailed stickers and some nice moulded detail, along with a very cool crane, which doesn't actually do much, but they were going for a vibe here, and they nailed it. Ironworks is a wee yellow truck, who transforms into a red-faced behemoth who's had his shoelaces tied together. Get him up the detachable ramp, and from there, it's up to you really, you know, use your imagination for once. Alright, okay fine, we'll transform him into the battle station. In what may be the coolest feature of all four stations, we can fold out this giant radar dish, and while it doesn't exactly spin freely, it's such a distinctive characteristic. The crane disassembles and turns into two separate things. First up, we've got this Evita-style balcony for Ironworks to sing from, and we have this non-launching missile launcher with its own missile that hides inside the station mode. It's just a winner. You know what? I love it. I don't know if it's as good as Grease Pit, but it's a close second. Loads of fun little things to mess around with. Now, of course, you can connect the stations and other MicroMaster products via the ramps, in this instance heralding the return of Donut Town. And even this is great, but connecting them up to even more MicroMaster bases is the goal, but that's for another video. Ultimately, the MicroMaster stations are more than just a little fun. They're exceptionally good. Um, Did you run out of puns about being small? Yeah, to be honest, I'm kind of done. You got anything? No, no, I don't think there's anything you overlooked. Oh. Oh! Ah, ah see?